I mean, I'm not, I'm not disrespected. Again, like, uh, I like challenging myself. I like putting, but like, I'm, I'm loving that I put, you know, I'm put, I'm sort of running with this sort of, sort of narrative you like as well, it. you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah, I like it. I You're like not really it. the underdog so, very often. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, well, I, I have been, like, like, to be honest, I have been a lot in my past. Yes. You know, maybe in my last couple, couple of fights, I wasn't, but there was still a lot of doubters. There was still a lot of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, hey, you were the underdog for I, Max, I, right? Nobody thought you were going to beat Max that first time. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I didn't. I I'll that. be honest. I didn't. Exactly right. And like, that's the thing, right? Then. Look what I did, like, uh, the, the, you know, you talk about striking and all that, and then all of a sudden I go on out there just out, out striking one of the, the best strikers out there. People are like, what? You know, and that's just going to be the same, same same for this one. A lot of people, we know what he wants to do. We, it's obvious. We know what I want to do. Am I saying I'm going to go out there and out-wrestle this guy and out-grapple him and all that? Hey, you never know. You never know. But in saying that, it's pretty easy what he wants to do. And it's just funny how people think that, uh, they, you know, some people can sometimes forget, like, uh, you know, why am I so successful? Remember, I started this sport at 22 years old. It was like just like 11 years ago, I think it was maybe, or something like that. Incredible. And look at, like, I'm one of the, you know, you could, I don't want to talk about myself like this, but you could say I'm one of the most well-rounded fighters. And I look at my well, fight Well, not just that, they have you as the, you, you're the top, I mean, I'm looking right now at the rankings. You are the UFC's, uh, at least according to their rankings, the top pound-for-pound pound fighter in the world, I'm period. Pound pound. Exa exactly right. So you, you and I did that in such a short time. Someone that started this sport late. And uh, it's like people are like, oh, how's he going to deal with this? How's he going to deal with that? And I was like, oh, well, you haven't learned that. I'm a quick learner by now. You haven't learned how much better I can get in just a couple of months. You, you know what I mean? Like, uh, especially when I put my mind to something. And you know what I mean? It's, again, people are just don't understand that. They're going, oh, he's moving up. They see all oh, this, you know, Dagestani wrestling, Islam, and, you know, all that type of stuff. And, again, I like that. I'm like, all right, sweet. You know, this just makes my victory so much bigger and all that. So I'm going to run with it. It's all good. So I don't feel disrespected by it. But I think people just don't understand. But, I mean, uh, maybe after this one, again, I like chasing. I like chasing yeah. these uh, underdog stories and all that. And I like challenging myself. But, I mean, there's going to come to a point where people are going to be like, oh, fuck, I'm not down this bloke anymore. Right. You know what I mean? How can I, you know, well, that, that's, that? that's where I'm at. I'm, 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 you're never going yeah. to find me doubting you. Trust me. Exactly. But I mean, <laughs> I think, again, it's a different little, it's a bit of a different style, that wrestling, grappling sort of style. So going out there, I get a bigger guy and all that type of stuff. You go out there and do what I plan on doing. All right. I think it's going to be pretty hard to doubt me moving forward, but I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to find a way in here. I'll find some sort of challenge that'll get me out of the dog again. Well, well might you go to 170? I know you've talked about yeah, this in the past. Yeah. You, you, you know, we, <laughs> look, we know we've talked, uh, we've heard many, many times about how when you were playing rugby, you were 214. 170, that's like, that's light uh, compared to what you were. Could we realistically well, exactly, yeah. see? <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you never know, right? You never know. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to say that it definitely ain't going to happen. You know, do I, do I, do I see that in the near future? No, I've got some work to do in right. this uh, featherweight and lightweight division. But um, hey, you never know. Like I said, if people start, uh, if I start getting bored uh, because of uh, no one doubting me, again, I love being the underdog. I love uh, people doubting me and all that type of stuff. So again, I'll find a way. And again, if people stop doing that, uh, you never know. That might have to be my only option. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alex, I was talking to Yair Rodriguez earlier, and uh, he was uh, as could not have been more complimentary to you. He seemed to think that if you win the fight, if you beat Islam, that you might not go back down to 145 and defend the featherweight belt. Thoughts on that? Um, no, I, I won't look, man. I made a promise that I'll keep both uh, divisions busy, and I'm a man of my word. I've always been a man of my word, and that's just who I am. And uh, that's what I plan on doing. You know, obviously you never know what happens, right? You're breaking right. bones and all that type of stuff. But I mean, I want to be active. I want 2023 to be an active and one of, uh, and this is the year that will define my legacy. You know, this is one that everyone's going to be talking about. And this is what I really want. So I need to be active. Um, so I want to, to do both divisions. I really do. I said, I was going to do this. So I'm going to try my best to actually do that. And uh, the thing is, bulking is i did this whole bulking thing for this islam fight i don't believe i need to do the bulking i think uh, floating between lightweight and uh, featherweight after this fight's going to be a, a, a little bit easier because i don't feel like i'm going to need to focus so much on the bulking side it was necessary for islam right because i'm gonna give him that benefit of doubt give it you know i'm gonna give him that respect that yep all right i need i need that little bit right but i don't feel like much i've always been very strong people just don't understand you know that unless they train with me they won't know so uh I've always been there. So I thought I'd level it up a bit now and bulk that a little bit, but I feel like moving straight after this fight, I feel like I can 
go back to a, a sensible weight where I can float between both divisions and and be active. And the good thing is I can do quick turnarounds for the lightweight uh, division because I'm not going to have to cut as much. So I re really do believe that I can uh, I float between two divisions and keep both divisions busy. And um, But yeah, like I said, like that's why I'm happy to, I don't want to keep no one waiting and all that. So I'm happy that they're, they're doing the interim belt. I'm, I'm more than okay with that. Um, I think it's good, good for the division, good for them, and uh, we've got a, we've got a lot of these top guys fighting each other now. So there's going to be a lot of uh, contenders, which is very exciting for me as well. Hey, and for us too. Uh, I'll get you out of here on two more quick ones, Alex. What will you weigh when you uh, when you get in the uh, octagon on the twelfth? How or how much heavier will you be than uh, than you would have been at featherweight? Well, look, uh, I could get to. I believe I could get to probably you know uh, one eighty. Um, wow. I reckon I could get to 180, but I don't want to, right? I want to get to about, I think, one, 174, I think, would be, uh, would be, you know, a bit more comfortable for me. I reckon I could, you know, if I really wanted to bulk right. up. Because I, I, I fill out real quick. You man. do, I right? a lot of water. <laughs> but, I mean, I need that perfect balance, yeah? I want to be sharp. I am moving very, very well at, at that weight I am now. So, I want to stay pretty close to that, to that 170, 174. Um, yeah, 174, I think, would be, would be ideal just purely because of that sharpness movement and all that, you know, that same Volkanovski that you've been seeing, we still want to see that, but you still want to see that power as well. So I still want to make sure I'm that heavier than I would be at light, uh, featherweight. So I'm, I, got, I do have that strength and that, that power, but at the same time, still that sharpness. So we've really found a weight where, where we're sitting perfect, where the strength isn't, you know, I'm not, bringing that weight down and the strength. We ain't losing that strength. So we found the perfect balance and that's what I want to fight at. When you picture this thing and how it unfolds in your mind, I guess you win by knockout? Or, I mean, hey, if you were to submit him, imagine that, Alex. But knockout, we thinking? Yeah, I mean, obviously a knockout. This is, a, this is what, I'm a, what people got to understand. I mean, I'm a very calculated fighter, right? I really am. And people got to understand that. So a lot of people, when I'm fighting, a lot of my previous opponents – and this isn't any knock to them, but I always looked at them as, all right, I've got to be careful of their, you know, I feel like, you know, my, their way of in is a punch's champ right. and we're landing a lucky punch. So I need to take that away from them. Right. You know what I mean? So you've got to be calculated and defensively. And a lot of, a lot of fighters, a lot of your, you know, you, your greatest fighters are usually very defensively sound. Yeah. You know, you've got good fighters and then you've got your greatest and they're defensively. And I am that way. But this fight with Islam, Obviously, there's more ways of him winning. If I have the wrong strategy, if I do things wrong, he could win. He could get a decision. He could submit you. So yep. you need to fight a great, great fight. And you need to capitalize on the feet. So you're going to see me really, really want to capitalize on the feet. I don't have to worry about him having just a puncher's chance. So, I, you know, and be so defensive, you know, just be cautious of that. Right now, you're going to see me really go and get him on the feet and really go for it, really try to take that head clean off. You know what I mean? And look for that chin and do what I need to do. I need to capitalize on the feet. So I really do believe that um, I can, I can get the finish. So I'm definitely going to be looking for that. Uh, you know, we've seen that he can be finished. I don't think he has a Max Holloway chin. So, uh, you know, that, that's obviously Max Holloway has always made it hard for everyone. <laughs> He's never been. No, he doesn't, he doesn't so, uh, yeah, so, you know what I mean? But, uh, I, I, you know, I don't think Islam has that type of chin. So I plan on hit, landing big and, and hard and, and uh, consistently. And, um, you know, that's what I plan on doing. He's going to have other plans, but that's what I plan on doing. And I'm going to make sure I capitalize on the feet. So I'm going to keep this fight very exciting for the fans. So you just wait and see what happens.